Sky Sports here in Newbury this afternoon as the Town Shootout Series continues. And what a couple of contests we have just had this afternoon. Straight into match number five. And introducing next a player who has become a mainstay of this Town Shootout Series and is increasingly at home on the TV stage. A warm welcome, please, to money-making Craig Lakin. And Craig's opponent is our wild card here in Newbury this afternoon. He is a multiple money match winning player who's had a huge win in Dublin last year. A warm welcome to our wild card, Adam Penwell. Are you ready? Are So, on we move, and that's how we look. Jordan Church, John McAllister, the first two through. They'll play each other first up, 7 o'clock in the quarter tonight. Martin McIntosh against Sean Chifferfield, who won through a, a match that possibly could have gone either way, Sean. There were a couple of moments there where I could see you breathing a sigh of relief. Definitely, yeah. Um, so, de people say, like, this is, this is my format, and I suppose it is. I don't have to change my game, but there's a lot of pressure out there, and I struggle with a lot of doubles as well. You know, the table was playing so so strange, but it's a great atmosphere. And myself and Dan mentioned a lot in commentary, it's certainly, I mean, in pool generally, but in this format, how quickly it can change. And you look so so fluid, and every time Dan kind of kind of pegged you back, and it made it a real contest. Definitely, yeah, it was, it was touch and go all the way, really. Um, there was one frame where the, the shot clock was suddenly hit five, and I totally forgot about it. Uh, it was 30 seconds all along, and then 15, and then suddenly the ball stopped moving, and the clock was beeping so I just played a random shot and you know went from there but um, yeah happy to have won obviously now, now I've got the first one out of the way hopefully start playing a bit better what were you thinking at because um, I think at 4-1 at 3-1 you played that ridiculous shot um, off of uh, you, you punched it off three cushions you had no choice did you and you broke out the two bad balls but they landed on the cushion and then you just sort of under hit your second last one to make the the, the double was sort of Maybe you might you, know, you might have uh, double kissed and, and you end up missing it. You sat there, you're cruising, then you're thinking, oh, I've just played the shot at the tournament. I'm just about to go four and up. Life's yeah. great, and all of a sudden you're sort of one ball away from being three all. What, what were you thinking then? Because you know you must have been bang under it. Well, I was, yeah, I was buzzing playing the shot. You know, I got the cannon perfectly. Um, I knew if I just soft screwed the red in, I'd still be on the double. It was just, I couldn't get the white away from the cushion, so I couldn't dig down on it to straighten it up. But I knew if I just sort of punched it through the topspin, that would be enough. But I still missed it. But that was one of four doubles that I missed. I played a lot of firm doubles, and the, the cushion squared up. And I played a slow one. Don't know if you remember that with a big bag with the red over the middle, and it totally slid, slid and nearly part of the red. So I was guessing a little bit on the doubles, to be honest. But yeah, even, even the black, even the frame before last, where I um, split the black open with the two, with, with the black and yellow at the top left-hand corner. It was a bit unlucky to land, sort of touch and ball on the black. So I just, the clock was ticking and I just banged it and see where it went. And <laughs> that was the end of that frame. So yeah, that then got obviously close. And 
what do you think of the format? I mean, obviously, it's easy for people to say, well, you play quickly, so it should suit you, but like the actual format in general and the tournament in general, are you a fan? Yeah, I like it, yeah. Um, I've had a lot, so many people say to me, oh, this, this game suits you, this, that and the other, but it's just add an extra pressure on me, to be honest. You know, I know that I don't have to change my game for this, but even that 15 setting shot clock, even that catches me out sometimes, you know, so, yeah, and, you know, the atmosphere is great. Um, yeah, I've got, not got a bad thing to say about it, really. And the last one, before we let you go and concentrate on the, on the commentary, Martin McIntosh is your opponent this evening. What kind of lineup uh, contest will that be? Well, I've never played him, but I've seen him play, and I know he's quite, he's a good player, and he's quite methodical. Not that, obviously, that matters in this format, because he's forced to, you know, speed up, but, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Hopefully, play a bit better than I did. I'm normally better at night time, so hopefully things will change a little bit and, yeah, break well and play well. Well, well done. We'll see you tonight. Uh, there's Sean Schifferfield through to play Martin McIntosh. That'll be quarterfinal two this evening live on Free Sports. Evening session from eight o'clock. Here, well, we've not got a frame on the board yet, Dan. No, and... We'll uh, do in a second, though. Adam Penwell, our wild card, was in first. And um, that was kind of messed up, but to let Craig Lakin back in and what, what looked like it was going to be fairly routine. I think he's, he's digging himself a bit of a hole here, but I think he's just about on this red. Um, whether he's going to punch it out or not for the black into the corner, I'm not too sure. Oh, wow, what a shot. What a shot. That's brilliant. Queuing off the cushion. That's that a, a wonderful good. shot. That's a brilliant shot. And it's first blood to the favourite. Look at this again. It's, it's hard to explain to people at home that don't really, you know, that, that maybe like to watch the ball but don't play it as much, just how difficult that shot is. He's played that as kind of like a stun run through, almost. Um, it, was, it was a really, really good shot, but, but made ten times more difficult because you're queuing right off the cushion. Um, the, the, his last ball wasn't actually <laughs> sort of, uh, it was hardly over the pocket either, so it's, it's a great shot. A proper nerve settler for Craig Lakin, and uh, we're going to see our wild card, Adam Penwell. Still bang under it. You never settled until you win your first frame. It'll be his break. Let's see what he can do. He made a ball, but it's uh, a messy layout. Whether he goes, I mean, reds or yellows, I don't really think he's got an easy opener. And even if he does, certainly doesn't have an easy finish on. So he's just decided to play safe and hand it over to Craig. So your problem, not mine. shot and he's just sort of uh, that he was so close to the object ball that he's tried to try to couldn't quite get his cue out of the way in time and he's actually sort of double hit that there which is what we call a push shot so he's handed uh, Craig Lake and a good opportunity here is um, to, to, to make something out of this frame he can use his free shot which is um, can effectively do what he wants with uh, apart from top the black of course Could have come out a lot better if the two yellows hadn't tied tied up with each other just next to the white there. This would have been a lot easier, but might even might even elect to go reds now.
he's digging, as they say. Digging himself a hole here. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a very good shot. He couldn't have played that any better. He's actually given himself a perfect angle as well to play play the middle of the three reds. Trying to dislodge his bird one. In fact, he didn't even need to play the middle one, but it hasn't quite come out good. If he's just off straight, he might be able to leave himself something on it. If he's got that. What oh. a shot. <laughs> What a shot. Uh, he's going to need another one of them, though. See why they choose the players they do for the shootout. You know, it's some um, style of play just lends itself to it. It's brilliant to watch. Oh, uh, lucky. Rakes of reverse side of, of uh, bottom right hand side. They were just trying to flick that black on the way back out. Hasn't quite made it. And Adam Penwell's going to get a chance here. I can't see what Craig can do here. Hit and hope. I think it looks like it will be. The old-fashioned hit. Now, doesn't want that in. No. If oh, that goes in, no. that's frame over. Wow. Oh. Well, well, well. Well, how about that? First one of those we've seen, I think, in this series. He's got to shift that out of his brain in double quick time. Yeah, and these rules, if you put the black and white, the black doesn't come back up on the table. That is uh, that is frame and match over. Well, frame over. And, um, there we go. You called it. I thought the black didn't have the angle. I thought it was staying out. I wasn't getting too excited. Uh, it's, it's, it's these new cloths. When a table's brand new, that they just they, they slide in off the far jaw more, more so than, than if the table had been bedded in for a week or two. But uh, one one typical fashion when something bad happens, you break dry straight after, and that's exactly what Craig Lakin's done. So Adam Penwell or Penners, as his nickname is, is back in with a chance. Now let's make no mistake, he's uh, he's definitely second favourite for this match, Adam. But he's a you know he's a decent player. He's got a good money match record. Um, I don't think he takes on many of the sort of very best players as such, but he's he's got his level and he's he's very very good under pressure. Typically, when he gets to these, uh, you don't you don't have a good record in these money games unless you're good at handling pressure, whatever your level. Looking like going two one down here to Craig Lakin. Couple of minutes ago, it looked like he was going 2 0 down, so he'd probably take 2 1. <laughs> Good. Well, he's left that as a. Oof. That's now a test to it. Yeah. I think he was just a bit straight on it, so he tried to force the angle. Didn't have a, didn't have an option really. This is tough. Shot. Straight queuing. Dead straight queuing. That's brilliant. And the concession. He wants. Uh, well, it's an early concession. Yeah, we saw. You may uh, say on Sporting, but with an eye on the shot clock, that's very, very good thinking. I think we saw Kean Monaghan. Kean did that in Milton Keynes on his yeah. route to. Did he reach the semis there? Yeah, in his first event he did, and uh, is <laughs> there's a method to it. I mean, you, you're up against it, you're losing frames. You might as well get them under and done with. He wasn't going to miss the black, so give yourself best chance to get back in the match. Yeah, I like that. I mean, it's okay. It's probably against the the setter but it's actually within the rules if you know the rules are there you're allowed to concede a frame it's, it's no it's no different than perhaps what um was it marshall i can't remember who who in the final frame was just using all 30 seconds of the shot clock because he knew that the shot clock would wind down I for me it's no different to that no just just slowing down and making the shot clock run down you said you're here to win or you know make the numbers up and do what you got to do
Penwell's just uh, making his way through this frame, but the yellows that are right next to each other. He needs to give himself an angle. He needs to, if he could, screw up table and leave the white just to the right of where the black is. He'd be able to pop the one he's just played and, and, and he'd dislodge the other, but it's uh, not gone to plan. I don't think Craig's going to... Well, I don't think he should go game here, but... Um, he's just going to lay a snooker. Three matches still to come on Free Sports UK this afternoon. We'll resume, of course, for the quarterfinal semis and final back-to-back -back from eight. After this, Matt Lawrenson, who's he's kind of had mixed success on this shootout series. He had a really good run in Milton Keynes when he reached the final uh, runner-up there. Um, didn't go his way in Manchester. I think he ducked out in the first round, didn't he, in Manchester, if I recall. He did. And uh, he's up against Liam Bullock, who, I'll be honest, Dan, I don't know a great deal about. I uh, used to play England juniors with Liam Bullock. Yeah, he's my age. Uh, under I could say he's my agent. <laughs> <laughs> under 16s. <laughs> <laughs> Not fortunate enough to need an agent. <laughs> no, he's, uh, yeah, he used to play played England juniors with him for a good year or so. Um, from Derby, yeah, a bit of a hotbed of pool from you know uh, Craig Lakin, also from Derby, and um, in a bit of form, in a bit of form, Liam Bullock. He, he played last night. We had a we had kind of like a warm up match. The town, we uh, they were branded the town showgirls against the Newbury Five <laughs> in a in a team match, and uh, Liam played really well. So yeah, well we see. Um, I'd probably make Matt slight favourite just because of his experience and um, with the shot clock especially but a close game Did Liam uh, having not played in this event before did he ask you anything about what it was about or would you just say well I'll, just, I'll play it as I see it No I didn't really speak to him about this event to be honest um, well we were enemies last night we were on the yeah. opposite team so <laughs> yeah, um, no I, I don't he's, he's not a slow player Liam uh, fairly methodical. He probably plays in a similar sort of style to, say, a Martin McIntosh. You know, just not a slow player, but just um, just kind of goes about his work, keeps the game simple. But he was on fire last night, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him cause an upset against one of the seeds. Talking of upsets. Um, this would be an upset if Adam Penwell were to beat Craig Lakin. Mm. And amongst a couple of uh, sort of flashes of brilliance from Craig Lakin, he's about to find himself locked at two apiece. we go in she rolls and it's 2-2 and plenty of time on the board yeah, you see his power there that's come down with him giving him an old punch on the shoulder he believes in him with the latest start time for tonight's quarterfinals previously in these town shootout series events We've been used to seven. We, we're going for the later time of eight o'clock on free sports tonight. We've got a bit of free time. Are you, you going to buy me dinner or what? What are we doing? Um, yeah, we could go down that route if you want. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, uh, mascot race, got a newbie race course is opposite. There's a couple of races left. Could be. Three hours to kill. Yeah. Could we still race at this time of year? Probably not. <laughs> I'd, uh, as much as I love my sports and I like a little punt now and again, um, horses I know nothing about. Absolutely nothing. Well, this is suddenly a two-horse race. Craig Lakin against Adam Penwell. 2-2. Two -two. And a conversation going on. Conversation going on about the shot, shot clock. clock I, yeah. I think the shot clock's broke. Or was it still showing 30, perhaps? Maybe. As we pass yeah. the midpoint of the match. It's so had a couple spot. of glitches with that. 
Craig just asking the question. He did get a, a swift resolution to his query. And Craig Lakin is, is all of a sudden bang under pressure here. He is definitely, um, you know, expected to win this match. Uh, and that needs to reach, just about reach the knuckle. So he's, he's definitely in control in this frame. And that might not be the worst thing that could have happened there because his middles play fairly tight. It's a good shot. Lovely shot. shot from Penwell. Unfortunately, the, 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 the ball he's planted, uh, the ball he played first, has just gone onto that side cushion, so he's now made itself a, a problem ball. It's a great shot. Wow. It's a great shot from Adam Penwell. He's a real contender in this match, you know. He really is, and I don't. I, I think he's got half a pocket here for the red into the left corner, and that's gonna, it's, the, it's the perfect natural angle to get to get his bad ball out. Can't get it. No, he's had to play the plant. It just disaster as and well. He's had to play out. the plant, and he's got he's got he's got Craig's yellow, which was a little bit tricky. He's now just made that unmissable. And that I think is going to be that in this frame. Such fine margins, aren't they? For a minute, it just it looked like he was going to take a 3 2 lead. The audience getting behind Craig. Yes, Craig. He's not making any mistake here. Just up off the shot, but this will be 3 2 to money making Craig Lakin. Ten minutes left, still plenty of time in this match. And in Pamela, we see he breaks, uh, uses a break cue, much bigger tip than normal. Oh, he's made a red. He's made a red, he's got a chance. They're not, they're not easy, they're not gimmies. He's, he's got his hand on the table. Bags of time for Adam Penwell, nine minutes when the shot clock is 15 seconds. Gives him a real opportunity in this match, but this is a key frame. And that doesn't look like it's going to be a swift one. No, I think Craig's doing the right thing here. He's, you know, he's the one with the 3-2 lead. And uh, he can afford to just say, look, this is a messy table. If you want to try and clear up, then try and clear up. But I'm not going to be the one that does that first. And we're kind of returning the favour there, to be honest. Let's try to play the double, the double plant to the middle. But again, I think you know, although it was hardly a shot to nothing, the the two reds at the top of the table are, are, are a bit of a mess. And even if you got on it and tried to play a plant, it's difficult. So I'd still probably make Craig favourite for this frame. Well, this is a key visit in this last 16 matchup. You would say this is a key shot. In an ideal world, he'd have left himself more angle there so that he could well, have. Well, he spun a mile away. Yeah, he's, he's in no man's land now. So you're right, this will be uh, Pendulum swinging back towards Craig Lakin. 
if it even left him in the first place. Yeah, he's got second prize. He's, he, I mean, the black doesn't go into the obvious pocket and uh, he's tied up Craig's yellow, but he's going to have plenty of opportunity and we're going to see him do it straight away to try and get that out. Doesn't want the white in. Just as he played it. <laughs> it's actually quite fortunate he's left himself <laughs> an angle there, but he's still not got it out. Has he got another angle? I don't think he, he goes for it yet. No. So he's just he's just doing the right thing. You know, the, the, the time's running down. Uh, his it's not, best not chance... Not a bit negative? Not a bit Ebdenesque? No, no, I like it. I, I think um, no. Craig Lagan's biggest chance of losing this frame was him trying to clear up when they're tricky. He's He's got Adam in all sorts of trouble. Um, he's done the right thing. He's been patient. He's got his reward. He's got his two shots. And now how much easier is this? Yep. Fair call. Thought he'd left it. Bow. I thought he'd left it, you know. This will be 4-2. And that'll be the tactics. Absolutely paying off. No. no! What have you done? What have you done? Well, what have you done? But what does Pedwell do now? <laughs> well, there's a, there's a very tough... I think the plant Does he play made. it? I think it can be made. Oh, almost. Oh, uh, and a quick concession. Four, well, two, well, five well. minutes left. I don't think it'll affect the outcome of the match, but wow, shake of the head. How did I miss that? He's embarrassed. You can see. He just took it for granted. He won't mind. He's four two up. First round. Just wants to get himself through to the evening session. And I think he's he's pretty much there now, isn't he? Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think Adams gonna is likely to, to win two frames in five minutes. Matt Lawrenson against Liam Bullock to follow. for the right to play the winner of this one, which at the moment looks like being Craig Lakin, but it can change quickly. Four minutes to go. Can, and a he's Penwell gonna, dish, and yeah, we're back in. He's in. He's in. He's going to need to play one one tricky positional shot to get onto that yellow into the bottom right-hand corner pocket. But, yeah, he's, he's got a sniff. It's now or never. If you don't get these, you're gone. Now is the split. Trace the right-hand side and, and cannon that red. Perfect. Beautiful. It's perfect. He's just running a little bit away from it. Would have loved the white. It's been just oh, a bit it's going to be up, dead weight now, isn't it? Yeah, or, 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 you, or you come off, off the side cushion and leave the yellow at distance. But if you can hold it, he's going to try to. Oh, oh he's tried to that, was the, that was the risk. No, I think that's... Uh, well, he missed the pot and he didn't hold it anyway. No, he didn't. I think the time time and the pressure just kind of got to him a little bit there. I think you see it a lot with the people that are playing this event for the first time. They are the ones that seem to panic a little bit when when, uh, when the shot clock's on. It's so interesting from Craig because... Hit and hope. I think he's missed that. He has missed it. He has missed it. But that wasn't that difficult to get out of. I think Craig didn't want to... Didn't want to go for them himself. And this match is done. Yeah. Nothing else will happen in the next two and a half minutes. No. A few boos around the crucible here in Newbury. But I 
I don't think anyone in the uh, in the arena would have done anything different themselves. Where's the white gun? Oh, wow. So the wild card has had his card signed off here. He's not going to be hanging around for the evening. That's a decent pot. But this is all a little bit of an irrelevance. Unless they all pop in and he sees out the match before the clock, but I don't think he's got any desire to do that. memorable matches of the day but he's he's played it very cleverly Craig Lakin he's done what he's got to do wins a win uh, and, and there's a couple of decisions he's made in this frame and the last frame when it comes to playing a safety shot instead of going for going for a finish where he's just done the right thing might might not be great to watch it might not be great to commentate on but he, he won't care No, he won't at care all. at all. He's coming he, back tonight. Exactly. He won't care. Shot. Yes, anything could happen here. Oh, <laughs> not far off, you know. Well, you've got 20 seconds if you fancied it, Craig. He didn't. <laughs> well, there you are. That kind of sums up the match, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> He's made it. <laughs> well, what I will say is that was played in a very, very nice spirit. Not a classic. Very shrewd. Very tactically spot on from Craig Lakin. And it's money making Craig Lakin who knocks out the wild card Adam Penwell. It's Lakin through to play either Matt Lawrenson or Liam Bullock. And that comes next. <laughs>